Hello, it is Kitty Blue. Um, I'm going to do a quick video just of some updates going on. Um, plus, I had some people um, actually ask about my dogs that I have. Um, you've seen Zero in quite a few videos pop up. Um, I also have a dog named Oryx, O-R-Y-X. And um, I'm going to try to get him on the camera to introduce him. Come here, buddy. Come here, Oryx. Here. boy okay so this right here um, I don't think I can get him to turn around but um, here we go this is um, Oryx he is actually a um, he's a mix and I adopted him from a uh, rescue um, he was about two or three years old when I adopted him uh, he came from a rural Kentucky area um, I live in Ohio so they transported him up to Ohio and I adopted him um, he does have hip dysplasia he had surgery already um, before I adopted him. Um, he's gone through a lot. He's he's really come really far in the year and a half that I've had him. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Um, but he um, he had some issues like you know, um, not being like let me pet him like this and um, you know put my arms around him and things like that. He was just very um, afraid of. Obviously, I think you know somebody might have abused him. Um, they did when they did an x-ray to uh, check on his hip. They also uh, found that he had some um, like pellets or something from like a BB gun or something like that um, under his skin. So he definitely was unfortunately abused before I got him. But uh, he, I did have a DNA test on him just because I thought it would be fun to do um, just so I can try to figure out like what he is. And um, he is actually a Great Pyrenees Border Collie German Shepherd mix. And um, that is about it for Oryx. Um, he's a pretty low-key dog. He just kind of lays around most of the time. Uh, he likes to go for walks. Um, he likes to, you know, run around in the dog park. I uh, don't go to the dog park too often because Zero gets into trouble sometimes. But speaking of, come here, Zero. Come here, buddy. So everybody knows Zero. He's kind of short. Oh, there we go. So this is Zero. He's got... No, don't... Don't lick my babies. So, um, oh, Oryx is going to come and say hi, too. So everybody knows Zero. Uh, you probably saw him in some other videos. Don't lick my dolls. Um, he is an Australian cattle dog, and uh, he is a really good boy. He's just like Velcro. He wants to be around me all the time, except for when we're actually um, out on walks and stuff. He wants to just kind of do his own thing sometimes. But um, I have him in agility classes. He is going to be... Um, three years old here shortly. I got him when he was nine months old. I adopted him from a rescue down in Columbus. So yeah, that's, um, if you want any other information on them, uh, feel free to ask some questions. But like I said, he's just, he's a cute boy. He's a good boy. Aren't you? Hmm. He's a good boy. Okay, get off. Bye bye. <laughs> Or not, you can sit here. You can just sit here if you want. So, um, I apologize for like not having a lot of videos up. Um, I had, I might have mentioned it in a previous video. Um, I actually quit my uh, full time job, desk job, back in January of last year. So, I've been doing a lot of anime conventions, um, selling my furry ears and tails. Um, I have a set of ears on today. Um, and uh, I actually just came from one. It's just a one day like thing that I was doing today. And uh, my husband's actually still there. Actually, no, it's nine o'clock. So he's probably on his way back home. But um, so I've been doing a lot of conventions, which means I have to like get a bunch of stock and sew a bunch of stuff. So I've been really busy with doing the furry ears and tail. My doll like moved because zero bumped it. Um, so I haven't had a chance to do any videos. I really wanted to do this video just to let you know what's up and to introduce my dogs and kind of explain, you know, what kind of dogs they are and, you know, um, everything like that because just somebody asked. Um, so I'm going to open up this video to, like, you know, if you have any questions that you want to ask me about anything uh, doll-related or dog-related um, or furry ears if you want those or something, um, just feel free to put in a message and um, I will try and respond to all of them. Um, I'm going to try to, I have 
let's see, it's May 30th. Um, I have one more convention at the end of this month, so I'm going to try and clean up my doll room and uh, do some more videos. Uh, I've got a few um, new MSD size dolls, so I wanted to do another MSD comparison um, and maybe some different reviews on different companies. And um, if you didn't notice, my hair is now blue. Um, it's actually completely shaven off on the sides. There's like this cool fun star shape. So there's no more blonde, no more hair for me. This is not a wig. Um, this is actually my real hair. Um, I just chopped it off. I was kind of getting tired of the long hair and just needed a change. So that probably answers somebody question, somebody's question that will probably ask me about my hair. So yes, it is blue. Um, it is like much shorter on the sides. It just feels terrific. I'm just like really excited. Uh, just need to learn how to style it a little bit better than what I am, but that's not doll related. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much like what I've been doing. Um, I haven't had a chance to work at all on my dollhouse that I've been wanting to work on. Um, I did in fact though, go and see um, there is a dollhouse museum in Danville, Kentucky. I had the chance um, last week to go actually go and tour it and it is amazing. Um, it's just like, you know, your standard like doll, like small scale, um, uh, I can't remember what scale that they call it, half scale um, dolls. It's not like, you know, for regular ball jointed dolls or anything like that. Um, it's like, you know, for, you know, the little dolls. Um, <clears throat> I do have like a little cat doll from Elf Doll, Catsy. Uh, if you saw one of my videos, actually, she's probably about like this tall and she would just fit perfectly in there. I took some photos actually of, they had some furniture for sale in the store area and I like put her on different pieces of furniture and took pictures. Um, I'm going to try to get those up on my Facebook page for my dolls. Um, my doll Facebook page, which, which is Ternar, and um, I'll put that in the information on this video. Um, so that was really fun. So it kind of got me excited wanting to really, really do this dollhouse. Um, but we'll see as far as time goes because um, August is going to come up really quick, and um, that usually starts in with my Halloween, like just tons of orders for Halloween. So um, usually between August and October, it's just chaos and I'm not able to really do anything but work on um, furry sets for Halloween. So I'm um, going to try and get some uh, new photo stories up. I took photos for one photo story. I just haven't been able to put text into it. Um, so that's something I'm hoping to do within the next month. And um, that's actually also attached to my Ternara Facebook page. Um, like trying to think of anything else. I'm sure there's like lots of things that I'm forgetting about. Um, I do have like reborn dolls now. If you haven't seen those videos, I just have these three right now. I'm actually um, considering having a few more custom made. Um, they're just really cool looking. I just my vampire girl here I think is my favorite. She's just so adorable. Um, but other than that, I'm trying not to buy any more dolls. I do have a couple more on order. I have two more doll zone orders, and that is it. I don't have anything else ordered right now. I um, feel like I'm just rambling and talking really fast, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> I've been I've been uh, kind of uh, low on sleep lately because um, I went to Atlanta just last week for a convention in Atlanta, MomoCon. And um, we had left, we left on Tuesday morning and just came back on Monday. And then I went up to Sandusky last night um, to get my badge for a Colossal Con. And um, I just did their craft fair that they have on Thursday nights, or Thursday day, I should say, um, from like 1 to 10, I believe. Um, obviously, it is 9 o'clock right now. I'm not there. I actually left early and left my husband there, <laughs> but, um, so I've been, you know, just really, really busy and just really tired. So I'm talking fast. I realize this, um, trying to think of anything else. So, oh, 
These fabulous earrings, if you notice them, are from a friend of mine. She makes them. It is a Sea Sky Octopi. I'm going to put actually that in the comments as well, because if you really love these, um, you'll love all of her other jewelry. I'm not sure if you can see them very well. They're rainbow. They're kind of like, look like tentacles. Um, they're just like a, um, just a regular like hook earring. Um, they're very comfortable. They're very lightweight. I think she does have some that might be heavier, um, that are bigger, but these are really comfortable to wear and I love them. They've been like my favorite pair of earrings to wear since I got my hair cut off. If I had long hair, they would get tangled up. So now that I have the short hair, which, you know, like I said, I just, I really love, just need to kind of learn how to style it a little bit. I'm going to be wearing more cool like jewelry. Um, maybe get some makeup on this face right now because the lights are so bright. You can't like really see too much going on anyway. So it doesn't matter. Anyways, I am rambling now. Um, like I said, if you wanted to ask any questions or if you have any ideas of like videos that you would like to see me do, um, feel, please feel free to comment. Um, videos, you know, can include like doll related, dog related. Um, I mean, I could totally like take a video of zero doing agility or something like that. Um, well, I'll have to like have my husband take the video and then post it. But uh, if you would like, you know, if you have any questions about any of that stuff, that would be awesome. Or if you have any questions about the furry stuff that I make, um, these are just really, these are the big, big, huge ears that I make. I make them smaller as well. And I make tails. Uh, I took my tail off before I uh, got in the car and was driving. So I don't have my tail on, but this is a new neon. Um, it's kind of hard to tell maybe back here. It's a very neon um, rainbow color. And uh, they're perfect. Next month, June, is Pride Month. So if you want some furry ears to go with your Pride costume or, you know, going to a Pride party, I can set you up. Um, you can check out my Etsy or my Facebook page. I'll put all that information in the comments as well. So um, I hopefully I will have my other um, Doll Zone dolls coming in very soon. And I'll do box openings of those. Um, one is a Vita, um, Doll Zone Vita, in the purple resin when they did a purple resin like uh, special event run. And then the other one is, I want to say Antu, A-N-T-U. It's their USD size Centaur. So um, hopefully those should be coming in because I did order them the same time I ordered um, the snow... Fule, I'm going to say Fule because I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, um, but it's the Aries uh, hoofed, like winged doll. Um, I just did a video of box opening of, so go check that out as well. Okay, it is now 13 minutes and I am done rambling. So thank you for watching and I will try, like I said, to get some more videos up and keep the questions coming. Bye.